here. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. And Teresa, the boys and girls were wondering if you would read them the story Sophia the First. Sophia Has the First. Has anyone ever heard this story before? Put up your hand. Oh, somebody's reading it. You're reading it? Well, let's all be as quiet as we can be, and we're going to have Teresa read us this story. Is everyone all ready? Good. Oh, it's good afternoon. I was going to say good morning. Oh, my goodness. It's been a long day. You guys been enjoying your day here today? Yeah, I know there have been a lot of activities here today, so I guess we'll just have a little bit of reading time now. So this book is called Sophia the First. Can anybody, can everybody hear me? If I scream loud enough, I have to scream, do I? And usually I read quietly, but I guess I'll have to scream so you can hear me. All right, let me know if you can't hear me as I'm reading. Just put up your hand and I'll start reading louder, okay? All right, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Perfect. So this book is called Sophia the First. Did I hear someone's reading it right now? Oh, look at that. You have it in your hand. Have you read the book too? All right. Well, let's see. Let's read it together. Is anybody's name Sophia out here this morning? This afternoon? I'm still saying morning. You're Sophia. Well, this book is all about you. Are you a princess, Sophia? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have Sophia the First. Let's see what Sophia is going to do. What is she the first about? Let's see. All right. I'm going to turn around a little bit so that I can read the words and show you the pictures as well, all right? Okay. My name is Sophia. It used to be just me and my mom. But then, mom married King Roland. Now she's the queen of Enchantia. And I'm princess. Enchantia. I wonder if they have a lot of chances in Enchantia. The trouble is, I really don't know anything about being a princess. I never had to do a royal wave. Anyone know how to do a royal wave? Just a royal wave. I'm not sure when to curtsy. It's a little bow that you do, the little curtsy. Or even which fork to use at dinner. I'll never be as perfect a princess as my new stepsister, Amber. She's trying to make friends with the new princesses. Just be yourself and you'll be fine, Mom tells me. I'm not sure that will work. How can I be myself and be a princess at the same time? Then, King Roland, um, my new dad, tries to help. He gives me a beautiful necklace called the Amulet of Avalor. Dad says it's a welcome to the family gift and that lots of princesses before me have worn it. So all the princesses, do you have all your, all your jewelry as well? Princess Sophia, do you have jewelry? Yes. You have your amulet. Then he tells Marvel we're having a royal ball in my honor. He says we'll dance the first waltz together. There's another thing I don't know how to do. Dance. Who knows how to dance? Who knows how to dance? Perfect. And you'd make perfect princesses and princes, wouldn't you? Perfect. Maybe there'll be a dance class at the new school, Royal Prep Academy. The headmistresses are three fairies named Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. Oh no! Amber tricked me! 
shoes are under a magic spell. The whole class laughs at me. That was not very polite. But even worse, I still don't know how to waltz. And the ball is tonight. Oh. Then I remember Cedric, the sorcerer at the castle. James, my stepbrother, says he has all sorts of magic spells. I ask Cedric to help. He writes down some magic words. He says if I recite them at the ball, I'll be able to waltz like a real princess. All hail Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick as I enter the ballroom. Here she comes, all dressed up. Shall we dance? The king says. You think she's going to be able to dance? No. No? Uh oh, let's see. I recite Cedric's magic words. Son of this populous chella. Whatever the words mean. But I don't start to dance. Instead, everyone at the ball falls asleep. She put everyone to sleep with their magic words. Even Cedric. Everyone's sleeping. Oh no, what have I done? Help! I cry. Suddenly, my amulet glows. Cinderella appears. What are you doing there? Your amulet brought me here, she tells me. When a princess is in trouble, another will come to help. Reverse the spell, Cinderella. I don't think she wants everybody sleeping anymore. No, I can't, but your sister might be able to help. But Amber has been so mean to me, I say. Cinderella knows what it's like to have mean stepsisters. I wish I had given my stepsisters a second chance, she says. Perhaps that's what Amber needs. Then she disappears. Ah, il y avait vrai, il y avait un peu de sérieux, il y avait un peu de sérieux. Sophia, being a princess 
is about having a good heart. You have a good heart? Uh, you have to have a big heart. And you're going to make a great princess. Dad, I've been wondering, why do you call you King Roland the Second? My father was also named Roland. So here they're dancing.